so to keep them on place, right? Just walk over and show. I would be like, hey, how's it going? You want to teach self-control, right? So she's excited. And if she can't, so as soon as she gets up, nah, you screw up. You say, lay down. Yeah. You fix the down, right? And then you walk away. So you don't need to say no or any of that stuff. What you need to teach the dog is you're in control of your consequences. I'm just a helper. I want to come and feed you. If you get up, you get the food. Well, I didn't tell you to get up. Right. You're not allowed to really move until I tell you to take a break or whatever, right? So we wait for a minute, two minutes, or a couple seconds or whatever, and then she screwed up, and we fixed it. That's perfect. Right. The dog still ears her forward, and we turn her back, so walk around a little bit, and you should see when you turn to look at her and walk towards her, and you'd be like, hey, I got the tail should start wagging. You shouldn't see the intimidation or anything. It should go away. And now you're going to walk in and hey, you want some of this. And if she stays in the down position, she gets it. So she learns to control that. She learns, hey, I stay here. I make you come give me some room service. Yeah. If I get to go get it, I push it away. I'm the dog. I'm in control of my consequences, the pleasant and unpleasant ones. Mm -hmm. This is just the person who's kind of really in control. Yeah. But this makes much more potent, powerful dog, right? smart so she sits there and she learns so if you had a distraction something ran by and she usually would go get it and you must acknowledge that and be like holy crap ding ding that would be like a little bit of a jackpot you can do jackpots with a bunch uh, and so if the dog is high right and you're using food if she's got very high drive then you want to do some of this calmness and you can still use food if you do predictable reward she knows that every time you turn and I stay here you come and give me this room service over, walk away, over. Now, if she's too low in the drive, right, you want to build them up. We'll do the opposite. If something goes oh, right. there, and then you can tell the break. And when she does something, you'll do a lot of release. Okay. Because release, and then you throw the food, which we did yesterday. Remember when she was flat? Yep. So then when I tried to teach her to catch it, so you're you, because she didn't have the toy drive, she's a little suspicious as well. And now she's a different dog today than she was yesterday, right? You don't want to see the ears back and stuff. You see the normal, but our goal is to say, I need to take you to this happy fire in your eyes, but at the same time, total self-control. But we're not doing anything technically. We control all the environment, control the fun, the food, the freedom, the darkness, the light, everything, but she thinks that she's in control of this. And if you can do that, right, that's very powerful because now you don't have to do much. She's the one that's putting out, trying, put out or get out. <laughs> so she's, she's doing what you want. If she passes a test and you're doing room service, then you keep this balance of a little bit of drive and two, you can break once in a while. And that creates that prey when you throw it, prey, and you do that sometimes, um, especially with the dogs that you had there a little few minutes ago. That dog came in suspicious. I don't work with dogs much. I want to get them in a good mood. I'm like, don't be suspicious. There's nothing to worry about here. You're not used to working. You're not used to thinking and whatever. And you're not used to pressure. You're not used to learning and the whole nine yards. So it's a whole new ballgame. They're used to being fed by silver spoon, <laughs> doing what they want, how they want, why they're here. Yeah. Better. The ones that are a little submissive and stuff need a little bit more sugar to come up. You can balance the whole thing. The pushy dog needs to come down to learn to eat, and the sweet dog needs to learn to become a little bit more pushy and assertive to eat, all with the food. So we can use it for calm, reward, we can reward that. And if she gets up, we don't say, no, we won't bark, no, because she's sensitive. Yesterday, she was like, you, right? Mm -hmm. Even this morning when I walked by, I went to give her the first piece of food, and she was like, oh, it rolls over. I'm like, hey, I'm not going to really, I just, I just want to give you food. So she gets up, she gets more comfortable. Then maybe I come in a little slower to help, right? the less excitability, the less submissiveness, whatever it is, right? And then once with her, she's calm, the ears are up now today. Hungry today, and she was a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. You got a little reserve in here. You got a bank account that's uh, not empty. Some dogs don't want to work. Some dogs with high drive, like the mouth, you can do shit all day with them. Right? These guys don't have that, right? So they they just they need that shaking. So I would just continue working like that. If you want her, then just take a break, break her, and then play with her, and then put her back on the plate. Yeah, instead of she's doing really good. Like if I throw this. Right? And she fail. We don't want to set them up to fail. Yeah, yeah. So I'd make it relatively easy. Now the question would be, does she know the 
place does she really fully understand and call her and ask in a couple of weeks? So if I went and threw that over there, you want to say good job and acknowledge, reward that. Right? And I would give one, you can do different things. You could give one and two and three, it's like a slot machine. Ding, ding, yeah. ding, 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 one and money and money. And, or now you she can, got up on place while I did that. Is that then you'd be like, oh, just lay down, okay. try again. She needs to learn to stay down. That, that's your goal. And if we pass it again, right, she passed another little test, and you're like, oh, sometimes, like if you did two or three of these, you know, room service direct rewards, sometimes, break, throw a little party, get her all happy again, so, so she's now she put up into, yeah, because you want her to learn also to go from a high, excitable state yep. to a calm state. Turn on, turn on, this turn is a very on. simple little thing, you know? But it's reading the dog, watching the dog. When we approach the dog, like if I was to walk up to the dog, and at a certain threshold, she starts like licking and avoiding her head. I'm like, holy shit, this dog needs more sugar than, than shit. Right? Right. So if she makes mistakes, I'm just going to be super soft. I'm just not going to be like bark commands. I'm going to be very neutral with my with myself, and I'm just going to and I'll actually literally say, I need to change that dog. Needs to be more hungry. So I'll take out the food. I'll literally say. I got some money for you, right? When you see that, and they start licking and stuff, I'll stop for a second, and just let them think for a sec. Less intimidation, and I walk a little slower. Maybe not as much direct eye contact, but after time, I want to give the direct eye contact. I want them to have that hope, be like, I don't want like, oh shit, dude's coming. He's, right. I'm scared of man. I could walk in and pet, walk away. You do that exercise all of a sudden, and you don't have to go fast because it, you just sometimes it's better for just to get a repetition. Repetition, and like I said, short session.